Okay. Hi, Aurora. I'm going to be reviewing your account in video format because I feel like if I type, it's going to take a while. But anyway, it's currently 6 o'clock and I know I told you that I was going to take an hour to do it, but then I went out to go drive and eat with my family. So, then. <laughs> so I'm here now though. So we're going to do this. We're just going to, it's going to be no edits or anything. I'm just going to straight up just be talking. And yeah, I, first of all, it's really hot in my room right now. So if I sound like really tired and like just defeated, it's because I am. It's because it's so hot. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So you told me, you told me, let's see. You said, na, 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 do it, you on my account that has fun these. Am I open to my clean summoning team? Just go to party one, that's messy. Okay, party one, you say. So you say party one, but I feel like I'm just gonna review every single character. So, you know, just for funsies. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, but I'll look at your main party instead, too. <laughs> wait, 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 you said party one. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, first of all, your era 56. Um, second of all... Alright. Third of all- oh hey, sorry's online. Anyway, third of all. <laughs> Let's go review these characters. Alright, we'll start with Kaya, level 90. Nice, nice. Ooh, is that Black Sword? No, it's Black Cliff, I see. Uh, oh god, he doesn't- okay, the thing is, see, every time I see, like, crit rate being so low on cryo characters, I get immediately scared, but, like, it's not that bad, because he's a cryo character, and I know you have his- yeah, uh, I know you have his constellations- oh, and you have four-piece blizzards, so that's perfectly fine. So that's good, that's good. Crit damage, okay. I would say, this is just my personal opinion, but with, with weapons like Black Glyph or, like, uh- like whatever the what is it called the battle pass weapon is i completely forgot what it's called even though i, I know i said it earlier <laughs> black sword black sword stuff like that where like you have to pay something to get it i always like in my opinion again my opinion i always max it out because it's like it makes it more worth it in my opinion plus i think it'd be a good investment for him anyway because um the base attack <laughs> yeah and the crit damage will go up but again just my opinion if this were me that's what i would do i don't, I don't even know what this sword does after two games. Oh, okay. Anyways, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't need the HP very much. Uh, this is decent. It could be better, but it's decent, especially if you use him as a cryo, like, burst DPS kind of sort of thing. That's pretty decent. The thing is, he does scale off an of energy recharge, so this isn't, like, super necessary, but again, this is decent. It's not horrible. This is concerning, but this one's not horrible. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, no, no no death. He unless you use him with a a pyro person, like or like um or like a freeze team or something like that, you don't really need elemental elemental mastery that much, but I know it's easier said than done. But oh my god, that defense <laughs> attack could be cryo damage, especially because you're already running a cryo damage set, so this is better as cryo damage. This is okay. Uh, could be better, but still okay. I still okay. And crit damage. Oh lord. <laughs> not horrible, but not great either. Just the defense and these flat stats are. Anyway, I don't even want to talk about that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I see crown. So true. So real. Pretty decent Kaya. He's so handsome. Did I ever mention that I love Kaya? Anyway. Yeah. Flip that coin, my guy. Okay. Next is Albedo. What do you- what do you have him build as? Okay, okay, I see. I don't really know much about building Albedo, I'll be real with you, but- oh lord. But, uh, <laughs> you know what I realize is that, um, does- do all your characters have that low crit? Yep, they do. I feel like if you- I feel like it'd be well- wait, actually, how- how do you have her build? Oh shoot, you have her build as physical. Oh, wait. Yeah, physical. If you could- Again, if this were me, and I was having trouble with crit rate, I would totally recommend using Rosaria as a burst, burst girl, burst support, burst DPS, burst whatever, just as long as you're using her burst, because her burst has a thingamajiggy that gives a 15% crit rate for everybody for a while. That's pretty good. Holy moly, you have 6 million more. Okay, anyway. So, 
Just a suggestion if you're ever considering it, but I saw that she has physical stuff, so I don't know, maybe maybe you build her as a physical DPS, but who knows? Okay, anyway, oh shoot, I didn't know that my mic was peaking, I'm so sorry. Was it like that the entire time? I didn't mean to, sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, let me fix this. That should not be so loud. Here, I'll put it like further away, sorry. Sorry if I like blew your ears out earlier, but I didn't mean to. Uh, anyway, um, zubba, 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 zubba. was that geo damage? That was geo damage. Uh, that's good. Defense is good. Looking pretty good. Uh, same thing with what I said earlier about how you, like, um, in my opinion, again, in my opinion, uh, you know how I said, like, oh, if you pay for, like, a weapon or something, or, like, you buy a weapon, then, like, it's, well, well it's, like, well worth it to, like, upgrade it to the max. Same thing, in my opinion, again, goes for, uh, anything you have at R5, because, I mean, if, especially if you have just the extra resources in general, I mean, you might as well. It's not like you're gonna spend on anything else. Four piece husk. Uh, I vaguely know what this set does. I don't really know. I'm I'm pretty sure it's good for him. I mean, it's a it's a geo defense set, so like I would hope that's good for him. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, sick. What's funny is that that defense piece that Kaya had would be <laughs> would be pretty good for him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, decent, pretty okay. Uh, this is very concerning. No, do you not have anything else? Oh yikes! Oh yikes, girl! You need to do some artifact farming because that. Uh... <laughs> anyway, this is not great. I'll admit, this is great. Keep this. This is this is amazing. This is good. Uh, this attack. Mm... I feel like. You have his burst up. Yeah, you have him crowned. I would use geo damage bonus. Attack, uh, in general, attack. What are these called? Goblets? I usually recommend them to, like, people who are just starting out Genshin, you know what I mean? Like, they don't really have the resources to farm, like, the elemental bonuses and stuff like that. So then they just use attack, which is just good enough for now. But then, like, once you start getting above like air 50 like you kind of want to try farming for those uh what's it called those elemental bonus ones because they are more worth it in the long run but yeah this is fine this is this is definitely fine but if you ever get a geo geo damage bonus you should totally use it and oh jesus terrible <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> uh i feel like okay 62 62 minus, 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 minus. Nah, I guess if it's all you have, then that's fine. I wouldn't- yeah, those subsets are kind of making me sad. Anyway, Beta's alright, Kaya's alright so far. Okay, we're going good. This is a lot better than what I- I was- my expectations were really low, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they were quite low. Ooh, really good energy recharge. Very beautiful. Uh, we don't talk about the great way. I already, I already said all I had to say about that. The catch- you fished for refinement 3, girl. I can't even fish for refinement 2. You are strong. But anyway, yeah, catch is really good for her, so pretty good. Do you have anything else though? No. Okay, yeah, catch is great. Very good. Four piece emblem. That I just realized that was level 15, but we'll get to that later. Uh that's great. This is great. Obviously, this could be different and this could be different, but this is really good. For now. That could definitely change. <laughs> that could definitely change. Yeah, that's that's not giving. Uh great not great but these two are awesome and it's nice to get energy recharge dude when i was farming for raiden i just could not get an energy recharge stance for the life of me so good good job on that this is the one exception where um a electro bonus will not really benefit her benefit her way too much i mean it's still okay to use but since she already has like a low attack and like you're already using energy recharge on her weapon and already energy recharge for the sands uh, attack is a good way to go for her goblet. This is like the, probably one of the only exceptions that I can think of off the top of my head. But yeah, pretty good. This is pretty decent. Pretty good. Do you have anything else though? I know you have a lot of attack. Yeah, because I can sense a- ooh! That's an anomaly. Anyway, I can sense a pattern that you have a lot of attack goblets. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, and a, okay, well that's different. Attack- uh, if this are me, I would go- this is- because first of all, this is concerning, but if this were me, I would go for crit rate 
for this because you already have 100 crit damage uh, with all your other ones and it would be nice to have, you know, I don't know, you know it gives like 50, right? So like, right? How much, how much crit does that do these give? How much crit? 60, oh shoot, yeah, you should totally get crit rate. That'll really, it'll be great. It'll be great in the long run. And then, pretty okay. Great, great choice. Pretty good choice. Uh, I'm just, I'm just stupid and I just really wanted to make her a DPS, like a DPS DPS. So I, I leveled up literally all of these and I was gonna try to cri triple crown her. Don't recommend. I mean, you can if you really want to, but it's good that you prioritize this. <laughs> Okay, Mona. Hi. Ooh. I sense a DPS. Pretty decent. Wait, let me see. Energy recharge pretty decent. Oh, yep, you're poor. Yeah, uh-oh. Boohoo. Anyway, great. Great, great, great. Looking good. Great also. A lot of people, uh, if you're going for like a main DPS, like she's on the field all the time, they're like, oh, you should use her as, or you should put four piece heart of depth. No, I think she works the best with heart of depth and, no, and uh, noblesse. If you already had like, uh, like if you didn't have heart of depth or like you had extra energy recharge, like the ones that, this one, if you had extra of these, then I would kind of recommend that a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit, but I mean, you already have this, so whatever. Uh, great. I don't know why, but like for some reason, Mona's like the most easiest character to farm for. I've I've never had trouble farming for her. Like this is so she's so easy. But yeah, that's great. That's not horrible, but not the best. She doesn't need HP and defense, obviously. I'm pretty sure you know all this stuff, but just wanted to reiterate. Uh, she doesn't need. Mm, it's hard to say. See, this is normally, okay, normally I know a lot of people say put energy recharge in her because she gains uh, like a, some kind of attack bonus, something like that when, when she has, I don't know, I forgot the details, I don't really care. But um, the thing is, is that like, it's not that big of a bonus and I think you're much better off if, if she's like a burst DPS type person or like you're just using her mostly for her burst or support in general, I would use attack. Because her energy recharge already, it's already pretty decent by itself, I'm just saying. I don't know. That's just me, though. I don't know. This is fine, though. Not the stats, but I would, if it were me, I'd go for attack. Because it's one more worth it in the long run. In my opinion, this is great. Amazing. Don't change this ever. This is, uh, well, it's attack, but <laughs> I would probably go for crit rate on that since you already have crit damage on this. And But to be honest... You could, you could go for either crit damage or crit rate. This is, oh yeah, not the most ideal crit rate, but like it's not terrible. Just a one in third chance. But I mean, if you really want to beef her up, crit damage, go for it. Why not? And yeah, she's almost crowned. Well, well. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going until I get to a point where like, where it's like this, where it's like they're not really leveled up. So this video might be a little long, but whatever. Just want to be as thorough as possible. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, she is definitely not built <laughs> for, like, anything that isn't healing, I assume. Pretty okay. Pretty okay. Obviously, you should level these up, but basically the thing with Jean is that if you're building her as a healer, which obviously I think you are, just stack as much attack on her. Yeah, attack, attack. This could be animal damage. It's not, not horrible. Not what I would do personally, but you could put animal damage on there and attack. Just stack as much attack on her as possible. Caitlyn has a really, like, her artifacts on Jean are so, they're not, they're not great. And she heals so much. So it just literally doesn't matter. Just stack as much attack on her as you can. You can get this up to like a little less than 2k or something like that. You're, you'll be set. She's really good. Kaching, my love. Hello. Pretty, I know this looks concerning because like, oh my god, the crew damage is so low. It's not that bad. It's a almost one and two ratio. Not horrible. Hey, I used to flute. I used to use the flute on her too. What else do you have though? I would recommend Lion's Roar. If you ever get more refinements for this, uh, by any chance, I mean, this is fine for now, obviously, because you're already using it. It's fine. But if you ever get more refinements for Lion's Roar, I highly recommend Lion's Roar more. The refinements are really good. Uh, ba boop, ba -bi boop. Wait, I didn't even read that. Thundering Fury, Noblesse. Mm. If you... 
If you have extras of these by any chance... Okay, wait, actually, let me check how you build her. Okay, so one thing, if you're building her as a normal attack DPS where you just like, you know, spam click a lot, I, I yeah, uh, I would totally a million percent recommend this set, the Shimanawa set, because um, the way it works is like, sorry, my grandma's like walking past me, I, I got distracted. Um, the way it works is that you use your skill, which you do, because like uh, to infuse her attacks with Electro, and then you start spam clicking, right? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but when you use the skill, it increases the normal attack damage, you know? You know? You feel? So if you use her as an Electro normal attack DPS, and that only in that circumstance, if that's what you use her for, you should get four piece of this because it's really good in my experience. That's what I have on her. And I've built, I've tried building Kuching like about a million times. So I've tried like a lot of things, but this is the one that has worked best for what I use her for. But if you're using her as like normal, you know, just general DPS with the burst and everything, uh, this is fine too. And I think you might be because that says elemental damage burst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously I don't think she's super built, but I'll go through this anyway. Pretty okay, pretty okay. Uh, uh, she doesn't need- a lot of- okay, in my opinion, I don't really think a lot of DPS characters need that much energy recharge, especially if they're ran with supports and stuff, they don't really need it that much. But I mean, again, I don't think you're really focusing on building her, but whatevs, that could be electro damage, this is fine. Fine for a four star artifact, it could obviously be a five star, but whatever. Uh, I kind of already talked about Rosaria, how she- if you really wanted- or like if you really think that you're in need to crit rate but you don't want to farm artifacts, you should invest in Rosaria, burst, uh, burst person, burst, <laughs> burst girl. Uh, but it doesn't look like you really built her. Yeah, it really doesn't look like you built her at all. <laughs> but I'll go through it anyway. Okay, okay, not horrible. This is actually, f this is good. You, you should keep that. Or level it up and then keep it, obviously. That's fine. The, the main stat is fine. I mean, not the... <laughs> uh, <nah. laughs> and this is... If you're, again, if you're... I don't know if you're going to ask me this question or if you're interested in it, but here, I'll tell you how to build her as a burst person, if you were interested. You would basically just stack as much crit rate on her as possible. You should try to get to a 100% crit rate, which I know sounds scary, but it's really... You sh it, that's just the maximum that you should get for her because the way that her thingamajiggy works is that um, uh, if you when you use her burst it'll give 15% of her crit rate to everyone else and the maximum is 15% so maximum that you can get for Rosaria is 100% you know so you know you know how percentages work so like um, you don't have to get 100% crit rate but like you should aim for it you literally just like that's why I said earlier that this was pretty good even though like it's kind of meh because it gives you crit rate, at least it gives you something, so yeah, if you're interested in that, give her crit rate here, give her crowd damage bonus here, you could give her energy recharge, you don't have to, uh, it just kind of depends, I don't know, if you want to use her burst more often, or if she doesn't, or she doesn't get her burst that often, then yeah, energy recharge, but for me, attack, attack, just to kill things as quickly as possible, and yada yada yada. Hi Lisa, you have her constellation, wow, okay. <laughs> Uh, I've always uh, been intrigued by Lisa builds. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. Um, but to be honest, I don't really know how to build her. I'll be real. Oh, you got- oh yeah, you got Skyward Atlas. You asked me about that. The thing is, I don't know what it does, so... <laughs> I don't know what Lost Prayer and... I don't know what any catalysts do, actually. Because <laughs> I don't use catalysts. Anyway. Crazy elements she sound this sounds like a main DPS kind of person, kind of weapon I meant. Um Yeah, I don't think you built her at all. Look at that. <laughs> I'd like to look at her anyway. Ooh, Yanfei. I see that I ha I've noticed that you don't have any pyro people. I would definitely recommend Yanfei as one of them. She's really great. I love her. What else do you have? Oh, you do have Lost Prayer. I was looking for the Lost Prayer. I was like, where is it? But I feel like you're saving that for Klee. I feel like that's why it's empty. But in that case, if you are saving it for Klee, that's pretty pretty good for Klee. I mean, it's on her banner. So this is good for Yanfei too, though. Pretty, pretty good. It's probably like 
one of the only four star catalysts I would like highly recommend because the passive matches her playstyle really well. Ooh, that's interesting. Elemental Mastery, girl, what are you doing with that? <laughs> this is garbage, I'm sorry. Uh, this is decent, you just have to level it up. But the thing is, is that why she does not need Elemental Mastery that much. I would probably recommend, you know, four piece Crimson, but I know Crimson is the, probably the worst domain to farm ever. Uh, so it's okay. Uh, don't need HP, don't need that, the crit damage is fine, yana yana yana. this should be pyro damage, yeah, self-explanatory, uh, yeah, <laughs> crit damage is fine, it's just like, oh my god, why did you put, I mean, I mean, obviously you don't really farm a lot, so I understand, but like, it's just funny to see, yeah, pretty good. Oh, you don't have her build? How did I build? How did I build Sucrose before you did? That's insane. Uh, yeah, she doesn't really need crit. Doesn't matter if she's a support. Uh, yeah, she's a really good support. I know I used to hate on her, but that's c just because I was a hater. But I've become a Sucrose lover. She's really great. I would definitely, considering that it looks like, oh, but you use a lot of Electro and Cryo. That's a thing. Because I was about to say like she's really good for elemental reactions, but if you only use like Electro and Cryo and physical damage, then like, meh, don't really need it. But I know there's like some some points where you have to farm something and you kind of need a unit like her where like she'll gather things up and like do elemental reactions and stuff like that. So like I would definitely recommend her, recommend building her if you have the time. I feel like if, if you were to go to an order priority, like these four are obviously, maybe not obviously, but I'm pretty sure they're your favorites, you know what I mean? Uh, but after them, after you're like done beefing them up, I would totally go for Sucrose next because supports are very important, as I've learned the hard way. But anyway, great weapon for her, but what else do you have? That's it, yeah, great weapon for her. You have... Why do you... Okay. <laughs> you should use these two as a refinement for this, and then Yaimiko can use something else, like, um... Or like... You can always switch these out or like interchangeably. Like sometimes Mona can hold it, sometimes Yamiko yeah, can hold it. You know what I mean? But you should definitely use these to upgrade this. Definitely, it's really, really worth it. Anyway, I'm sorry, I just noticed that right now. Oh, girl, she needs four piece spirit dozen. I think you're trying to go for that. She needs elemental mastery. Just stack as much elemental mastery in her as possible. Yep, elemental mastery, elemental mastery, elemental mastery. Uh, literally, all these main stats should be elemental mastery. Or if you're insane and you like DPS. <laughs> Sucrose for some reason. Uh, go Animo damage. That's what I used to have while I was still building her. But oh, definitely you should invest in building her. Oh my god, you have her C six. Pretty pretty good. Yeah, I feel like she should be like next on your list if you're looking to build supports. She should definitely be one of the first. Hello, Shinha. Oh my god, I think you supposed to. You're supposed to stack attack on her. I think that's how you build her. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure now that I think about it. Oh, hello, you're so sexy. Okay, uh, oh, hi. Um, oh, speaking of, I forgot to mention this. With Rosaria, if you if you wanted to build her as a burst kind of support, DPS kind of person, give her this, give her Favonius, because she has, if you stack her crit rate on her and then she crits, then it'll trigger this passive, which gives uh, more energy recharge, oh, more energy recharge on her. Sorry, I'm talking really quickly, which is why I was like, you don't have, really have to put energy recharge in her, because the other stuff will do the work, which includes this. This is really good. Uh, also, refine this, girl. What are you do <laughs> Don't be afraid to refine things. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. So if so, if you did that and she took this, then Shenha could have for innocence. Uh, 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 ooh, that's good. That's pretty good. She should probably have this. Why does Yunjin have physical? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you already knew the attack stuff. Yep, yep. Sure. Sure. Uh. I don't know why Lota Constellation is thinking you'd actually have Constellation. <laughs> but yeah, standard, pretty standard. Uh, I don't know much about building Noel. I'm actually trying to- oh, okay, yeah, that's- yeah, alright. Skipping that. Oh my god, Bigo, hi. She's definitely not built. Yeah, right weapon. Right stuff. Imagine having no constellations. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a point in time where I didn't either, don't worry. 
Yeah, Mika, oh my god. I would totally, again, if you like, if you ever were sick and tired of building anybody from this list, my order priority would be Sucrose and then Yamiko because oh my god, Yamiko's so good. She's insanely good. She you can put like the lowest investment on her. She she just destroys it. She just destroys everything. So if you were to put these two witsis into that, which again you should, definitely should, uh, I would recommend. If she recharge this and to use it, that's not horrible. This is pretty okay for her. Not the best. But this is probably what I would use, given what you already have. Uh, oh god, you would ideally give her fu- huh? Actually, wait. No, you would ideally give her Thundering Fury and attack something, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how- how did I build her? I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Ningguang's so true! She's so slay, I love her. Yeah, if you- hey, if you ever built Lisa, this is quite- quite amazing for her. But this is good too, for Ningguang. So true, so true. I can see she's not built, obviously. Oh my god, I'm jealous. Oh wait, no, I'm just kidding. I have C5. <laughs> I'm not jealous anymore. I completely forgot about that. I love Ningguang too, but I already have Albedo as a Geo person, so I wouldn't totally say like, oh my god, you have to build Ningguang. Not a big deal. Oh my god, hi Aurora. But yeah, I think the rest are not built, right? Yeah. Dang, you didn't even level these up for the free wishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to try one more thing before I left. I wanted to... Here, first of all, I wanted to try to see... Oh shoot, I forgot about that event. First of all, I want to try to see what your highest crit damage is and I want to see if I can break it. <laughs> That's what the rest of the video is going to be. But let's see if I can find it. 94k, oh shoot. With who though? I wonder with who. I feel like I can break that. Okay, let's try it. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Seven hours. Oh, seven hours till it resets. Oh yeah, that's right. Tomorrow's August 1st. Oh my god. Let's see what we can do. I believe in myself. Ooh, girl. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna try... Hmm, who's the strongest built out of these guys? I'm pretty sure it's Kaya. Or it could be Mona. Mona kind of... Oh! Speaking of. Mona... Uh, if you don't have anybody with 4-piece noblesse, and I'm pretty sure you don't because I just looked through all your characters, you should totally put it on Mona as one of the people. She's... I mean, again, she's a good main DPS, but she's an even better burst DPS. So I would totally recommend her with four piece no bless instead of one uh two piece hydro and two piece no bless. Anyway, just kinda remembered that right now. Uh let's see. We can do uh the thing is is okay no, no, it's fine. We can do you, you, you. If I give her thrilling tales and then I know you don't like Bennett, but we kind of maybe might use him. Maybe. Even though he's level one, at least he'll do something. Okay, let's see. I'll put the I'll put these back. Don't worry. But um, Yanfei, Miss Yanfei, you're gonna have Thrilling Tales. Let's see if this will work. <laughs> Be very surprised if it does. Okay, and then Bennett will have oh wow, uh, whatever has the highest base attack. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, cool. You know what? Since you're not using this on anyone, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's do it. I don't think I'll do anything too special, but we'll see. <laughs> I think I should technically use um, Kaya. Well, we can try with both. We can try with both. We'll see how it goes. And Bennett. And then we can just... Okay, let's try it. Oh my god. Actually, on second thought, I probably should have used Sucrose instead of... Raiden. I just thought of Raiden because she increases the burst damage. My promise for you is Sucrose. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Oh god, how do we do this again? I completely forgot how to play this game. We're gonna Raiden, Raiden for the burst damage, and then Bennett, and then Yanfei, and then Mona. Okay. Raiden, Bennett, Yanfei, Mona. Let's see. 
Oh shoot. And there you go. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> oh sorry, my mic is peeking again, sorry. <laughs> well, we did it. <laughs> it was that easy. I'm pretty sure that it was it, right? It was a hundred something K, right? 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 Yeah, it was. Hey, we did it! Yay! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thanks for letting me into your account. I'm gonna go on my own account now and go do my dailies. I will see you later. Bye bye, Laura.